instead. Uh, we are going to get back to uh, Candace Owens talking about Hitler. Okay. Uh, once again, Candace Owens can't stop herself from promoting Hitler in some capacity. It's very strange. I've gone on for 31 years of my life, and not once have I accidentally promoted Hitler. Okay. It's never happened. I don't know how I was able to avoid it. I've been a political commentator for like the past 10 years. I've never done this on accident. Maybe I've forgotten the top of the hour ad break when I'm invested in a conversation and served it to you eight minutes into the top of the hour. Uh, but of course, I will always immediately follow that up by telling you that if you no longer want to see those ads, well, then all you need to do is subscribe. But you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Hopefully, you can use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully, I am your favorite broadcaster. Uh, you can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here's the one minute break now. But getting back to Candace Owens. Getting back to Candace Owens. Red Chief, thank you for the five get the subs. Getting back to Candace Owens. Here is Clandice. In her own words. <laughs> I was right. Last night, hashtag Hebrews to Negroes was trending on Twitter. It was a top trend on election night, no less. And everybody under the trend was saying, I'm watching. Why is she so excited about this? It right now, I'm watching it. Why would they try to take this from us? Why would they try to keep this information from us? And that is what happens when you over censor information. It was never necessary to attack Kyrie Irving, even if you felt that the information in this documentary was bad, and there are plenty of people that have spoken. By the way, classic mistake. That's just a self-report. That was only trending for you. Most people don't realize. That's why everyone's always like, why is Hassan trending? It's like, no, it's because you are involved with Hassan, okay? So you see it. If you are involved in the dissemination of misinformation, if you are involved in... I don't know, that sort of stuff, then yes. You know? That's what's going to be trending for you. Open up and said that the extreme efforts that the ADL went through uh, in coalition with the NBA to punish him and their efforts to then demand that Amazon take this documentary down, of course, was going to pique people's interest. Not only is the documentary, the, uh, the top documentary on Amazon, but it's also the book, which I didn't even know that it had a book, is now a bestseller on Amazon's list. So if you go to Amazon bestsellers, you will see Hebrew to Negroes is one of the best-selling books. And what I like about this story is because you know how I feel about free speech. I think that people have a right to be wrong. People have a right to take in information. I love that she's like saying, she's implying that the information in this documentary is wrong, but it's cool that people are spreading it. It's cool that people are really invested in spreading it. Lol. Which is really interesting for her because, like, she's basically admitting that it's wrong, but she just wants people to know the wrong information, information I guess. People have a right to read whatever they want. Little reminder, if you actually go on Amazon right now, you can order and read Mein Kampf. It is not an endorsement of Adolf Hitler to read a historical textbook. It just is not. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, she's doing that. She's going there. Congratulations to Clandis Owens, once again, unable to stop herself from perpetually defending, promoting uh, white supremacist texts, white supremacy, uh, and, and, and of course, the final stage of that, which is, you know, Nazi stuff. She said, Mein Kampf, the textbook, that's cool. Right. And the idea that we should be censoring all of this information and no one should see it because it hurts some group of people, to me, doesn't. Also, ironic considering, like, <laughs> like she literally, just, she compared Hitler, like Adolf Hitler and Mein Kampf to some random ass documentary that is anti-Semitic, okay? Like, everybody knows who the fuck Mein Kampf, uh, what the fuck Mein Kampf is about and who the fuck Hitler was. You can't Barbara Streisand uh, effect your way into Adolf Hitler, okay? That's not a thing. Like, there's a genuine difference between someone uh, making something popular and then uh, the inevitable censorship backlash making that thing a little bit more popular for people who are curious versus, you know, one of the most famous historical uh, figures uh, uh, of all time. Very weird. 
She probably wants to censor children's books with LGBT characters, though. Of course she does. She also does not like CRT. These people are not genuine. There is no such thing as free speech absolutism, and there certainly isn't one that is even half thought out or half baked in the minds of those like Clandis Owens. They just want the fascist textbooks to be readily available and easy to read. They want the anti-Semitic conspiracy theories to be popular. They don't want the actual retelling of history from the perspective of black people to be readily available to the public. That's the difference. Because the more people learn about the true history of slavery in this country, the more people are going to recognize systemic racism. And that would undercut a major component, a major talking point that the Republicans latch on to. They latch on to that and are successful with it because they recognize the entirety of the American population is oblivious to the reality. Okay, that's how this works. Um, so yeah, not gel well with our First Amendment rights. Amazon still not in trouble. Don't know how Kyrie Irving's entire life is on the line, but and nobody is talking about Amazon. Yeah, Kyrie Irving's entire life is on the line, totally. Uh, but they are making a ton of money. So Kyrie Irving is losing money, and Amazon is making tons of money. Think about that for a second. 